name is Abel. I am in Northeast Philadelphia. I'm a flying instructor. I'm an IFP mechanic. And tonight I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on a bucket chair to avoid. So come with me and uh, we're going to learn a little bit about aircraft maintenance. First of all, let's talk about uh, the engine. The engine on the Piper Chair P140 is a single engine and it's located on the front of the airplane. So, first of all, we're going to open up the cowling. Like coming, uh, like coming, O320 E3D engine that is rated for 160 horsepower. Originally came up with 150, but this engine was modified so it can have an extra 10 horsepower so it can help us uh, have more powerful like takeoff and maybe a little bit of extra speed. Come up with me and we're gonna do it together. So first of all, what do we need? A little bucket so we can drain the oil, so we can connect it to the drain line, use gloves. So come up with me so we can see where that's the location. So come to see where the drain tube is. Uh, the drain tube is here at the very bottom of the oil sump. Also, we're gonna change the oil filter, which is right on the very back at the top of the engine. We're gonna change that filter and we're gonna cut it open to make sure that it's clean of debris and metal. A hose right here, the green tube. That's gonna connect it. The dipstick gauge, we're gonna open it so there's gonna be positive pressure coming into the engine. There we go. Very important thing not to forget. Come up with me. Okay. Uh, every oil change is very important to take a sample of the old oil so we can send it to a lab so they can evaluate the health of the engine. So they're gonna I'm gonna take a sample of that oil that we take, they, they we're draining, and we're gonna send it via mail to this laboratory that they're gonna check it and send me a report about the health of the engine. That way we can determine uh, if this engine is uh, performing well. Uh, any other thing that we might need to be aware of. Now we are ready to drain, so come on with me and show you. We're gonna bring the stick up and we're gonna open it. I'm gonna wait until I get at least maybe a quarter or two out of the oil and then I'm gonna take my sample. That oil is going to go to the laboratory for evaluation. I'm gonna first of all cut the cut the uh, safety wire. Safety wire, as the name it stands for, is to is used as a safety or mechanism or or a safety way to uh, ensure that the filter doesn't unloose itself with the vibrations produced. On the I like to use my fancy bottle of water here, so, so you can you see the receiver. change every, uh, every uh, oil change normally every 50 hours for the manufacturer instruction and what it does is filters any contaminants any metal any uh, debris that could be inside the engine so the job is to protect the engine okay the drain is complete now so there's no more oil coming out of the oil sample so we're gonna go ahead and close the drain plug and remove the hose Now is the time that we put a new filter. The filter is a champion. Uh, here's the model, so what would you type? 2022. Now comes a very important part, torquing. So torquing, uh, for tightening this to the proper torque is very important. So the manufacturer specifies it's supposed to be 18 foot pounds of pressure, so that's what we're going to do. So 
Tracking means that we're going to uh, tie it to the specific uh, specification or specific force. So that way we're not over tight or we're going to make leave it like a maybe a little bit too loose. So right to the point. <laughs> important part. Now we're going to safety wire the filter. So ensure that the filter doesn't come loose in flight uh, or turn with the vibration. So come on with me, we're going to learn how to safety wire. So now that we did the muscle work, it's time to do the final step, which is add seven quarts of oil. This engine needs, uh, has a capacity for eight. Finally, after adding all the seven quarts of oil, then we put the dipstick gauge, verify that we have the amount of oil that we want. It should be seven quarts. Then we come over here, verify. And they got the six, and then we have the eight right here, and we have the seven right there, right? There.